In today's video, I want to talk about some of the items I consider to be the most important in either sell value or utility or even items that you may need for daily contracts or the zero to hero contracts down the road. So I wanted to talk about these items today. The transmitter, so this item right here, um, is used for a daily contract. I've not had one yet, but I have heard that there is a daily contract for this item. Motor oil, same thing. This is required for a daily contract. You only need one. So if you happen to stumble across one, just keep it. Uh, when you get that daily contract, you can just bam, bang it out and then take another daily contract right away. So this just allows you to get through the daily contracts a little bit quicker in which items you should keep your eyes on or just keep in your inventory for the time being because you will eventually need them for a contract. The blowtorch, probably one of the most useful items in the game. So the blowtorch allows you to get into vaults and vaults have probably some of the best loot in the game, ranging from gold coins, silver coins, copper coins, to UA bonds, to intel, to gold bullions, backpacks, good armor, good weapons, and anything in between. So blowtorches for me are just money. They're not worth all that much, so they're worth 3,400, but the amount of value you can get out of this if you get to a vault is incredibly good. So I would suggest picking up blowtorch any chance you get and just keeping them in your inventory when you're ready to go into a map and you wanna go loot that vault and you know that's your mission for that, for that raid, just grab a blowtorch and go in. Um, and yeah, you're going to get some really, really good loot out of that. The toolkits. So the toolkits are very useful for a variety of reasons. You can craft uh, certain items like with them, such as the small containers, or if you get to level 22, the large containers. And most importantly, you get to this contract here, which is deliver nine toolkits. And this gives you rocket artillery and a heavy frigate. So definitely toolkits are 100% pickup and keep as many as you can, especially for that contract. Um, unfortunately, I didn't know about that contract until I got to it. So I used all my toolkits to make uh, containers. And now I'm pretty much shit out of luck because I only have the one toolkit for now. But definitely keep these ones. For the M1 helmet, same thing. This is a quest item. Uh, for a daily contract, of course, you can eventually make these. So if we go to the crafting tab here, you can eventually make these for one fabric and three metal scraps. But if you happen to come across them, uh, I would just maybe keep one or two just so you have them on hand when you do get that daily contract. For bonds and intel, so I already sold a couple here compared to the thumbnail, but for the bonds and intel and the gold bullions, I haven't found any other use for them except selling them. So I would just sell them uh, I would imagine there might be quests for them eventually down the line, but right now I haven't come into any daily contracts that require any bonds, intel, or gold bullion, so I would just go ahead and sell these. For the coins, so I know there is a daily contract for each of these coins. I'm not 100% sure on how many silver or gold coins you need, but copper coins you need a full stack, so you need eight copper coins for the daily contract, so I would just Always have a stack of eight copper coins on hand. Uh, silver coins, same thing. I would probably keep an entire stack on hand. And gold coins, again, same thing. Just keep an entire stack unless you're really, really strapped for cash. Um, yeah, just keep all these three stacks of coins at any given time. And anything you have extra more than a stack, I would just probably sell. The gold ring can be found uh, mostly above safes. Uh, that's pretty much the only area I've found this. So this is also a daily contract. I haven't had it yet but i have been told that there is a daily contract to turn in a gold ring for the nickel ore so this one uh, you can't really find on all the maps you can only find it on asteroid mines as far as i'm aware of and that is below the drill area so if you go all the way down in the asteroid mine there's a little nook if you keep going down where there's two guys laying dead and that is where i found my nickel ores you can find them around that area as well but that is where i found both of mine and again, this is for a daily contract, so having it on hand just allows you to get that daily contract done and then move on to another one. Lock picks. There's no point in not bringing a lock pick in every single raid you go into. So lock picks can open locked doors, they can open safes, and they can open locked containers in, in and around the maps. And they can be very useful because behind those locked doors, more often than not, there's better loot than just around the map. You have a higher chance of certain items. Uh, and yeah, they're just a generally good thing to bring. They're pretty cheap to make. You can craft them for literally one metal scrap. So yeah, just a good thing to have on hand. I'd always bring at least one or two lockpicks just to allow you to get into certain areas uh, and not be like, damn, I wish I had a lockpick. Well, just bring it. They're so cheap to, to have. There's no point in not bringing them. 
M1911s, same thing, a daily contract. So you need to turn in three M1911s. Uh, so just a good idea to pick them up if you have an empty uh, secondary weapon slot, or I guess it was, this would be a handgun slot. Um, yeah, just pick them up and stash them away somewhere. If you don't have any and the daily contract comes up, you can always craft them. But yeah, if you happen to stumble across them and your your handgun slot is empty, just throw it in there and maybe keep it in your stash until you get that daily contract. And finally, the metal sheets. Same thing for that. This is a daily contract. I think you need to turn in three if I'm not mistaken. And also metal sheets are used for a bunch of crafting. Uh, so it's just a good idea to pick them up and have a couple of stacks scattered around your inventory. And yeah, I hope this little list helped you out because I did see a lot of questions specifically regarding like the blowtorch, the nickel ores, the bonds and the intel, what to do with these items. So I just wanted to make a quick video talking about these and what their uses are. As of right now, I might need to update this video in the future when the game comes out in early access and they keep progressing and developing. But yeah, for now, this is what I would consider the most important items in the game, either for sell value or just utility or daily contracts. So with all that being said, hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.